He made her a princess and she made him a spare. Now Prince Harry has finally freed himself from Meghan Markle's double clutch grip on his royal jewels and he's free balling it all over New York City. Now Prince Harry has just embarked on a brand new eight day solo trip where he will make several appearances for his charities and patronages. Are they on a break? Living separate lives while Prince Harry figures out his future. You guys, we have a lot of juicy royal daily tea to get through today, so you know what to do. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into the royal daily tea. <music> thank each one of you who went over to my second YouTube channel and subscribed to the Royal Daily Tea History and Fashion. We are at 4,023. My goal is to hit 5,000 by the end of the year and I'm planning to do more content on that channel. I know I say that all the time because of my eye but I feel like I'm kind of turning a corner. I have so many fun things planned for the fall so I hope you will go over and check out that channel. That is 100% Harry and Megan free. So if you want to learn about the other royal families, fashion, tiaras, jewelry, etc. And I'm hoping to do some spooky haunted royal stories. Make sure you check out Royal Daily Tea History and fashion. But I wanted to thank y'all so much for being so kind, so sweet, and always supporting me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Now let's get into today's video. So we all know that things have not been going well for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. With all of the bad press lately, especially from the scathing story by the Hollywood Reporter, not to mention the cringy and awkward fake royal tours, and let's not forget that disastrous CBS This Sunday interview. It appears more than ever that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have split off and are doing their own thing. According to an inside source, Prince Harry, ever since he turned 40, is now re-evaluating his future, wanting to live a life of more purpose and not just Meghan Markle's dream of being a movie star and a celebrity. Now we all know that Meghan Markle is constantly manhandling little Prince Harry like she's the mother and he's the son. She does all of those controlling gestures, the double grip vice on his arm, grasping him like he's about to fly away, or the gentle pat and pushing that she constantly does on his back, kind of prodding him like a child, or the very possessive hand on his thigh. Meghan Markle has definitely claimed possession and ownership of Prince Harry pretty much taking over his entire life. Well, it appears that Prince Harry is ready to break free, y'all. He's ready to get rid of Meghan Markle's viper grip. He's tired of being isolated and lonely, and he's tired of being manhandled by his wife. He went from being the royal spare to being the spare in his own marriage. Now, there are rumors of major tension that are flying behind the scenes with their mishmashed ideals of how to raise their children, their failing businesses, and how they want to present themselves to the world to be royal or not to be royal. It is no secret that Prince Harry is a fish out of water and desperately wants his old life back, but thanks to the trollop that he married, all of those bridges have been burned and the boats have been sank. So now Prince Harry is at a point of making some serious life choices. It appears to me that Team Sussex is having a really difficult time, that life in Hollywood is not working for the gruesome twosome of Montecito. With their reputation in tatters, with staff constantly leaving, and with their deals falling through, Things are starting to look kind of bleak, 
over there in Montecito. In my opinion, Harry is going to start spending more and more time apart from Meghan Markle and perhaps more time in the UK. It's no secret that Prince Harry is very lonely, that he feels very isolated, that he does miss a part of his old life and his family back in the UK. He has been reaching out to his old pals pre megan recently and went on that boys weekend for his 40th birthday. I do believe that the rose has fallen off the bloom of Meghan Markle and that her once crocodile tears that she used to cry out of her left eye are no longer having a major effect on Prince Harry. According to an insider, he's getting a little tired of the misses and her constant whining and crying and her temper tantrums. He is growing very, very tired of the fact that everything is blowing up. Nothing is working out for them. Everything that Meghan Markle promised would happen when they moved to Hollywood is not happening. That golden ticket is turning into a complete nightmare, and Harry doesn't recognize himself nor his life. Again, as I mentioned in my previous video, when people hit milestones, they definitely start reflecting, looking at their life. What do I like? What don't I like? What do I need to improve? And I really do believe this could be a turning point in the marriage for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Let's not forget he just got that $10 million inheritance. He could use that to get on a freedom flight and escape Meghan Markle. In my opinion, I would not be surprised if by the end of 2025, we hear of a formal separation. What do you guys think? Leave me your comments down below. Well, guys, that's all the royal news that I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, and I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.